my first attempt at a larson trap for magpies, scavengers, feeding on chicks and eggs. Intelligent birds, uh, also a bit of a pest, so legal magpie control. Uh, I'm going to attempt to make a larson trap. Got some nice uh, thin timber. Needed uh, 4 times 30 inch, 8 times 28 inch, 9 times 18 inch. Also needed a few tools, a saw, straight edge, um, measuring tape, a right handle that comes in quite handy. If you've got a uh, cutting box that uh, can help. When you've cut your 30 inch uh, you need to central join them to make cross sections uh, to one foot top, one foot bottom. Just did this by uh, cutting halfway down and chopping it out. We make uh, join together, just screw them in. Nice cross sections. Um, just need two of them. And I got me uh, 28 inch Make them up into nice box sections, obviously one foot top, one foot bottom, you need two of them. Then attach your uh, 9 times 18 inch uprights to the bottom section. I used L brackets and screws, makes it uh, a lot easier. And I put it all together, uh, top and bottom on. Uh, give it a lick of paint. While uh, that would drain, start getting all my other bits. Then you need to build a separating section and a top lid for uh, your coal birds area. Uh, once you got the lid cut out to size, you need to cut another hatch hole. Well, I did. Uh, I thought I'll make a, an hole in that and uh, develop a sliding hatch for it. Just using a drill jigsaw. Cut out a nice section, um, made a sliding hatch top to cover that hole. Once you've got size right, you just need to develop a system so it can only slide so far and put a couple of catches on. So once you've got it all uh, working, you can retain it. Just give them a lick of paint. Let them all dry while I started getting on with my trapdoors. Right, so I got on with building trapdoors. Just got to be slightly smaller than old. Enough room for your uh, spring to fit. So they open freely. Just a bit of room so they're not getting caught on nothing. Got them all sized up and gave them a lick of paint. And I went back to me sliding hatch door, made sure that was running all freely. That's for my coal bird and it's also its shelter. That's my trap doors, all painted up, ready to go. Then I went on to meshing it. I meshed the inside first, separating the coal birds from the trap birds. Then I worked round the outside, starting at one corner and just kept going round until I met back up with myself. Also I had to uh, mesh the trap doors, put the retaining plank in the middle, separating the catch birds and then started putting the perches in on the uh, coal birds area. Got the trap doors fitted properly, put a plate on end just to hold the pins in. Perches in place. I actually meshed the bottom of the coal birds uh, area so I can just lift it up and always pipe it out, all the bird crap. Fitted me hatch. And I had to uh, just cut down, it was some old uh, wardrobe rail, just cut it, 
to uh, use for traps. Put another pin on just to hold back the sliding door on coal birds area and then just cut some timbers because obviously your uh, trap doors can just spring straight open so they just need something to stop them you can do this a number of ways but this is how i did it just on corner see that works fine and that's the finished product off to its new home well I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll speak to you again soon